Okay, today is Tuesday, July 18th, 2023. So, uh, I didn't do a whole lot to, uh, tonight. I just came out to uh, uh, put the cut out these uh, one inch strips and uh, uh, s securely uh, glue them to the uh, inside of uh, this piece here, uh, this uh, channel. So, uh, the screws that I had in there previously were a much coarser thread uh, and uh, it ended up widening the holes because that, that metal isn't terribly thick. So uh, I just put uh, the same gauge uh, aluminum uh, in thin strips along the top uh, and I will uh, uh, re-drill uh, the center of those and then uh, use uh, these screws here that I found uh, after the fact um, and I have plenty of them so it's just a matter and there's another bag here and I think there's some more over here so uh, uh, I'm going to just uh, re-screw all those with the, the proper uh, uh, screws uh, and then put the uh, obviously put the cap, the uh, top back on um, these will dry overnight uh, this act stuff actually doesn't take very long to uh, to set up I think it's only four or five minutes but it takes a full day to completely harden so I'm just gonna leave it uh, go and then uh, either tomorrow or the next day I'll come out and and redrill those and then uh, uh, life will be good and I won't get in such a hurry to uh, to get things done and I'll try and find the hardware before I lose faith that I actually had them in the first place so that's it for today Okay, today is Saturday, July 22nd, 2023. So, uh, I'm just in the process of uh, screwing this back down. Uh, I got those two uh, really thin strips of uh, aluminum uh, on the inside glued in. Uh, it turned out I needed to uh, rivet those as well. Uh, the glue isn't very strong and the screw just pushes it out and it's impossible to get in there. So. Uh, I'm just in the process of uh, of screwing these all down. I guess the uh, the bulk of today was just uh, countersinking. Uh, I don't know, probably like uh, ten or twelve uh, uh, rivets uh, to uh, to hold those pieces on. But now it is really super tight. Those screws go in nice and uh, nice and tight, and they're not going anywhere. So pretty happy about that. Uh, so these are the actual screws and. The other ones I had in there were much coarser thread, and uh, they kind of, like I mentioned before, they kind of wrecked the uh, the holes. Uh, they kind of drilled the holes out a little bit, and then when I went to put these in, it was too loose. So, but now uh, all is well. Uh, uh, so that uh, uh, that's going back on nicely, and it's it's a little bit tighter than it was before. So, so that's awesome. So. Uh, the next step, uh, I'm going to double check that this is perfectly straight. The last time I checked, it was, but there was a slight offset over here uh, uh, for the uh, gusset, which led me to believe that this is just a hair uh, too far this way. The, the gap on that one, actually, the gap on that one there is just like a sixteenth of an inch uh, larger than this one and uh, that's about how much off the, the gusset is so uh, uh, I'm guessing that the gusset is absolutely perfect uh, and my uh, uh, my install here is not uh, this just needs to come forward just slightly uh, there's a this small one that also needs to be done uh, this one uh, survived I didn't need to uh, uh, all the the screws fit nice and tight in there, uh, so I uh, I think the reason for that one, and it's been a while, but I think the reason for that one was just because I had Clecos in there. I never I never put screws in, but it'll be cool to also get those gussets put in that I didn't never bothered putting in. Uh, yeah, back to it tomorrow. Okay, today is Wednesday, July twenty sixth. Uh, this is going to be a short one, so. Uh, I got uh, that little, that small section finally uh, buttoned up. Uh, if I didn't document it before, uh, uh, this is all redone now with the, the proper screws. And it does look a lot better. So, uh, 
all that is done. Another good gauge because these are these are laser cut and they're exactly the size and dimensions and everything and the hole is exactly in the right place that it needs to be. I can gauge using those how straight this is by putting, I can't uh, show you on the camera because I just finished priming them. I forgot the primer the last time so I just came out here and, and finished priming them. It's basically just they got kind of uh, scratched up and dirty and uh, they had to be cleaned off and there was a bunch of drip marks on them uh, so I sanded everything smooth and, and just put a final coat of uh, uh, primer on it so they'll be nice and nice and flat when I go to, to paint them for real and I don't have to uh, you know sand them on the on the frame so uh, for uh, for this guy um, I, I can just put the uh, the gusset uh, on there and and you can tell that it's off because the the gusset uh, if I can put the cam, the gusset comes out to just, you know, like there. So it's, it's just a little bit off. But yeah. When you go out from that angle, you know, out to where the, the wing is going to be, uh, that's going to, you know, end up being, uh, uh, quite a bit off. Uh, and I don't want crooked wings. So, uh, better to, uh, to get it straightened out now, even though, uh, trying to, to get in there, you can see I've, I've got a, uh, uh, a socket wrench stuck up in there uh, to uh, to loosen the bolts and so uh, that's about it for today okay today is Friday July 28th 2023 so you can see I've got some uh, leftover ropes in this uh, come along uh, it just made it easier to uh, uh, to uh, to put this on so it ended up uh, the uh, there was just enough play uh, that I could uh, that I could put this in uh, properly, and uh, everything uh, lines up exactly the same on the other side. The uh, the real uh, thing that I wanted to take care of was that gap, so that gap is the same on the other side, <clears throat> and so uh, I measured in several places. I measured from here down to there, you know, down to the uh, you know, tenth of an inch, and it's uh, it's perfectly straight, and in a couple other places, uh, you know, vertically here. So everything is square and everything is lined up. Uh, this is perfectly straight. Uh, uh, these two, uh, uh, these two ends are perfectly straight. Uh, the the gap over there is exactly the same as this one. Uh, it's kind of hard to get the camera around in there, but you just have to take my word for it. Uh, so uh, uh, I measured from uh, from the center of this uh, to uh, uh, to the uh, basically this corner here, and I did the same thing on the other side, and they're exact, exact. And uh, I made a few other measurements uh, vertically, and uh, uh, from uh, you know here to uh, to here and uh, or sorry from here to here and uh, uh, everything works out so uh, happy about that everything is, is square okay so today is Tuesday August 1st so I uh, uh, I got uh, these two things perfectly level and square and all that good stuff and got this adjusted so there's a uh, a gang channel that goes in here and you can see the sucker tube that that's going to be because um, this uh, luckily it's just this side that needs to come off that doesn't have as much uh, uh, stuff uh, attached to it uh, and of course the fuel line is in there so you got to be careful but uh, uh, this is going to have to come off uh, this the top of this is going to have to come off I think I can just un, uh, unscrew this and leave the uh, the other ones in there because they <clears throat> because the that's that's attached to the the big uh, uh, the, the big structural piece there so uh, I think I can just undo these uh, take this uh, gusset off uh, unscrew it there and of course I'll have to take this off but I knew I was gonna have to take that off anyway uh, and I think that is about it uh, there's nothing else holding that on. Uh, uh, you'd have to look at the other uh, uh, vid previous videos. So this is actually two pieces. This piece here 
uh, is just uh, kind of laying over top of the uh, uh, the the, uh, the big piece here, uh, and it just needs to come off so I can put that gang channel in behind uh, uh, here, uh, and it'll mount. It'll actually. Uh, get riveted onto to here and then I can uh, bolt the uh, or screw the uh, 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 this side of the uh, this into uh, into the gang channel so it turns out that this is a lot more structural than I realized uh, uh, it, it's it's fairly I don't know if you can see in there it's fairly thick uh, and it does uh, hold uh, like quite a few things together uh, uh, and uh, the other sucky part is going to be, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, if I, you know, if I show in there, I can just barely, you know, I can get my, uh, my fat fingers in there. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I can get uh, the nut in there. Uh, I was worried, like, am I going to have to rivet that? But no, there's enough room to, uh, uh, to get the nut in there uh, and the, the bolt. So, or the screw, so uh, not a big deal. Uh, all of this is gonna be fairly easy. It's just a matter of uh, countersinking it and you know, getting those few on the front that I didn't do. But uh, uh, this, at first glance, I'm like, oh crap, this is gonna take forever. Gotta take a million things apart, but it's just basically this thing. Uh, uh, this is fairly easy to wiggle on. This one on this side is a, is a tad tight. You can see some of the, the scrape marks on either side. Uh, this one's a little tight, but it is exactly straight. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about that. Uh, so uh, it's just a matter of taking some stuff apart, basically this piece uh, and getting that gang channel and then doing the other side. Uh, the other side is just clamped on. I haven't done anything. So uh, uh, that is to do. Uh, more news on the engine so uh, it looks like bead is going to be dropping support for the uh, UL uh, power engines and uh, I briefly entertained uh, going back to the uh, the original Viking plan and I think I've been talked out of that uh, so um, uh, there's another fellow in Texas that I'm talking to that I can get everything from so uh, not a huge deal. Uh, the uh, uh, there's probably very little difference in the in the quote. So uh, I'm I'm still going with the UL Power UL 520 IS. Uh, I also talked to the uh, uh, Michigan Ad Avionics people, and uh, and I kind of expected that's why there was a, a delay because everybody was in Oshkosh. So uh, uh, as soon as they got back, they were uh, really quick to uh, uh, to respond and said, "Yeah, uh, the uh, there's basically one item, one of the sensors, and I can't remember which. I think it's the GPS, the the uh, the external GPS that uh, uh, hooks up to the um, uh, what do they call it, the I box uh, that uh, that uh, is basically the brains behind the." Uh, or at least the I.O. box uh, behind the uh, the EFA. So um, uh, that's really all that. Well, that and the fuel senders for the uh, for the wings. Uh, so um, it looks like it's going to be about two weeks, maybe three, uh, uh, before I have that stuff in hand. Uh, there's four there's four inputs on the EFA uh, for and and they're just uh, uh, standard definition. They're they're just composite inputs. So. Uh, that's the other thing. I'm basically going to make a, a an entire video about that. Well, <laughs> short video. It's not that complicated. Uh, so action cameras are the cheapest option, uh, especially if you go with the uh, off-brand ones. But it doesn't really matter as long as they have a uh, a clean HDMI uh, output. Uh, so you can run that into a uh, HDMI to composite converter. Uh, to run to the EFAS, so that's what I'm going to do for for those. Uh, if I can find a, a better option, like the thing is too, with the action cameras, I can uh, uh, I can still record stuff onto the card at uh, at full resolution, uh, with and not even caring about the like the standard definition is just so you can see the the video on your uh, on the back of your uh, EFAS as a background. 
<clears throat> as a background. It's uh, uh, it's not that big a deal. It's just cool, and I want to do it. So uh, uh, I'm going to use action cameras with those uh, with an HDMI converter. I will have to run uh, USB power back there, but I'd have to run it back for the camera anyway. Uh, so basically, they'll they'll run forever. Uh, I don't have to worry about replacing batteries. So uh, that video will be upcoming. Uh, I have a small test monitor, so I'll just set that up on a uh, in a on a test bench and kind of show uh, how that's hooked up. Not that it's that big a deal. It's not that hard. It's not rocket surgery. So uh, that's about it for today. Okay, today is Friday, August 4th, so uh, I got the rest of uh, the uh, ones that I could put in today. Uh, today was a very short day, so uh, uh, I just came out real quick from uh, work to get maybe an hour or two of work in uh, before calling it a day. So uh, basically all I did was get uh, these here and uh, those three um, put in and uh, started figuring out how I'm going to put the two angles in here and I cannot find the diagram in the uh, in the drawings for uh, this is 1119 and 1120 1120s on the other side, so uh, they're fairly simple to make. Um, so I just need to uh, build an angle that goes from uh, here uh, up, uh, overlapping uh, those these two here on the inside edge of this. So that is the project for uh, tomorrow: is to get those cut up, uh, you know, take all this off take this off put the the gang channel in uh, match drill it to uh, to here and then put everything back together and then screw it in uh, so uh, these are all just the the small all clecos so uh, they still need to be uh, drilled out to the uh, to the right size uh, everything else is going pretty well with this so that is it for today Okay, today is Saturday, August 5th, so I've started on uh, this side uh, getting all of the uh, uh, holes drilled for that as well as uh, as well as making uh, those brackets. Uh, this one is already done. Uh, I'm going to come back later today and uh, paint these, or prime them, I mean. So... Uh, uh, I'm gonna go get some lunch, and I don't know if I'm coming back for sure, so I figured I'd make a video now. So, uh, I basically need to make those two brackets, which are done. Uh, uh, the uh, That one's obviously already drilled. And uh, all, all of the holes for this side are done. And I've started on this side so if I get back today I'm hoping to finish all of those uh, uh, holes uh, and uh, maybe even get them all countersunk and screwed in. So I got uh, this other one uh, completely drilled and uh, this other uh, part uh, drilled as well so that's just waiting for the uh, primer to dry that's the, uh, the small brace that uh, uh, goes on the uh, on the left hand side the same the same as this one that's already dry that I uh, primed earlier today at least it's dry enough to sit there without getting munging anything up so uh, this one uh, still has to be uh, taken off uh, I'm gonna do that either tomorrow or the next day one thing to note if you're uh, because this uh, step is actually in a, the control surfaces drawing set not the uh, fuselage set so the fuselage set says to just put this all together, but there's no reason why you can't put that gang channel in at the same time as you're uh, as you're doing the the fuselage, uh, so you don't have to take this all apart again for literally no reason. <laughs> uh, like if I if I had looked ahead, I would have said, okay, uh, uh, I'm going to put this in now because this is going to suck a little bit uh, having to take this off. 
Uh, luckily, this is two pieces. This is uh, two pieces, so it's not that difficult to take off. There's just a, a, a few, probably like, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe 10 or so screws at the most. Uh, and these uh, uh, these large bolts uh, here for the uh, you know the welded brace. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna come back tomorrow hopefully and uh, set those braces up, get that other one off uh, and set aside and uh, start taking uh, this apart. Hopefully I can get both of them done uh, and that gang channel put in and uh, uh, put these back on and then I'm ready to do the wings. So I'm wishful thinking, but hopefully I can get all that done tomorrow. Okay, today is Wednesday, August 9th, 2023. So uh, taking that off actually wasn't that difficult. I shouldn't have been complaining so much. So uh, the uh, that's it sitting over there. I don't really have time to, uh, uh, to drill all the holes. So uh, it ends up going there. Uh, so... Um, like on because uh, this because that goes like this so the uh, the uh, brace or the the gang channel mounts in here so uh, I've marked that all off uh, where it needs to go you can see there it actually uh, goes partially over that as well so uh, in the process of installing it I have to uh, you know get this all uh, put back together and then finally uh, you know, drill the spot where the uh, where the uh, nut is on the gang channel. So, uh, not real difficult. Uh, it's just going to be time consuming, and uh, it's already eight o'clock. Uh, I'm going to uh, call it a day. But uh, I'm glad this wasn't as nearly as difficult uh, as I uh, I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's basically just. Uh, uh, you know, undoing this guy, basically everything I documented before, undoing this, undoing this, undoing that, and uh, uh, the, uh, undoing this. So uh, uh, this, uh, I didn't have to brace anything. This is strong enough by itself. The only thing that was difficult, uh, this, uh, there's one nut right here. Uh, these other two, uh, you can't see them in the camera, but the, there's two uh, nut plates on this one because it, it's just virtually impossible to, to install that without nut plates. So uh, uh, when I go to put the other one on, I'm going to put a nut plate on that one as well because uh, like you can't get a, a wrench or a socket or anything in there to hold the nut. So I just had to drill the uh, screw out uh, and just waste it. So uh, uh, when I uh, when I put it back, I'll uh, I'll put a nut plate on the back of there. It's just impossible to uh, to get a hold of that nut and, and screw it back in. So so uh, tomorrow or the next day, whenever I get back here, I'm going to uh, uh, start uh, putting start uh, uh, drilling the holes for that and getting that uh, uh, that nut plate mount. Okay, today is Saturday, August 12th, 2023. So, a uh, lot of drilling, so many holes. So, uh, I, uh, these are all just lo uh, loosely in right now. Uh, I, I just put them in loosely so I didn't end up, you know, trying to force something uh, if something was slightly off. So, uh, you can see there was, uh, there's basically uh, two mistakes. Uh, here, uh, this is just, uh, I drilled two pilot holes, one here and one where that uh, epoxy is. So that epoxy is just covering that small hole. Um, and I'll, I'll just uh, sand it down, it'll be fine. Uh, this one here, so I started uh, uh, measuring out exactly where the holes were. And this one was just slightly off so after I countersunk it there was just a tiny flange that is almost not worth doing but I, I'm gonna have to leave tonight anyway so uh, there was just a very tiny little kind of pit at the bottom where that one where I started that one hole and realized it was it was off and the the countersink didn't uh, quite uh, cover it all so uh, uh, I just put a smear of uh, epoxy around it I'll re, uh, re uh, Resand it down and re-countersink it, and that tiny little. There's it, just, uh, I mean, I, I put it around the whole thing because I'm going to countersink it. But uh, uh, 
the the only problem is just a tiny little kind of pit right here that just kind of sticks out from the the counter sinking that I just wanted to cover because I could. All these are fine. Uh, they're all drilled. They're all, everything's mash drilled. Everything's countersinked. Uh, the uh, the two uh, gussets that I uh, made um, uh, they haven't been uh, completely drilled out yet. And there's a few uh, bolts that still need to go in, but. Uh, uh, I'm just going to leave it for now, but uh, when I come back, uh, I'll easily be able to get all this done and uh, uh, at least get a lot of the drilling done on that side. Uh, it, it's a real chore to, to get all that drilling done because at first you got to uh, do all the, the pilot holes uh, and then make sure everything matches and then uh, and then uh, and then drill it out for the uh, the full size for the bolts and then countersink everything and you can see how many bolts are on here so yeah it was quite the chore to do all that I got uh, uh, like all the pilot holes and stuff were done earlier but I had to do all the uh, drilling and uh, countersinking and making sure everything fit right and all that stuff today so uh, I'm happy with the progress uh, I was kind of hoping I'd get both of them done but uh, uh, that's a chore for tomorrow Okay, today is uh, Sunday, August 13th. It is the evening. Yeah, I think I made a video earlier, uh, you know, about finishing off uh, that side. So uh, this one's gotten torn apart. So I just need to match drill it on uh, this side. Uh, that's the, uh, the member there, this long one here. So uh, I've got it all uh, measured out here. Uh, I just have to... Uh, to uh, put the uh, the gang channel on it and make sure everything lines up and then drill it and uh, I went ahead and uh, drilled all these uh, ahead of time so these are ready for uh, bolting um, I still need to uh, drill out all of uh, all of the pilot holes on on this uh, gusset Okay, today is Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. So, uh, this is all drilled and countersunk now. Uh, I kind of ran out of time, uh, so I just clecoed it back on for now with the, the bigger clecos. And uh, I got as far as getting uh, the... Uh, uh, getting the um, gang channel put in there and secured onto this piece and started putting it on but I didn't finish securing it so um, it's just a matter of uh, drilling out that final bit there and um, uh, putting the, the gusset back on and you know just the same stuff I did on the other side so uh, uh, as expected this one this one went a lot faster because uh, of uh, lessons I learned from the old, uh, the other one and uh, um, uh, it was just pretty uh, it was just a lot easier because I didn't I, I knew exactly what to do on this side so uh, yeah uh, I think the majority of today was just uh, uh, measuring out and getting that gang channel in the right spot you can see the uh, the the lines that I made uh, where the uh, spar goes up through there and uh, marking off where the you know the hole is uh, for uh, you know there's a there's a gap right here and that gang channel fits in there so um, uh, it's in there uh, it's just waiting to be drilled and have uh, screws put in of course I gotta drill this to the right size and, and countersink it but uh, other than that this is done and I also want to start looking at uh, mounting the the seats so the avionics uh, I was told by uh, Michigan avionics that uh, it would be at least uh, two weeks and it's been about that um, and I realized that they're still waiting on one of the uh, one of the parts I told them that's fine because I'm not ready to do anything anyway so uh, I'm just waiting for uh, uh, I, I believe there's a GPS module that they're uh, uh, I don't know if they're waiting for uh, chips or or uh, if, if they have a third party that makes them and they're just waiting for that no idea it's just uh, uh, that one part they have uh, everything else ready to go uh, so I'll probably be spending a lot of time at home uh, getting that set up uh, and working and I'll probably make uh, several videos dedicated just to that because that's kind of my uh, my wheelhouse so uh, 
the other news is I finally got uh, the uh, engine secured. So uh, I put the deposit down today. Uh, so uh, they're going to be busy in Belgium making that engine for me and getting it uh, shipped out. Uh, I'm told it takes roughly five five weeks. It'll probably be a little bit longer than that, but that's fine. Uh, so I went with uh, Wings and Wheels. Uh, you can look them up. Uh, they were uh, super easy to deal with. And uh, shout out to uh, uh, Dick Gosson who kind of helped me uh, uh, work out exactly what I needed. So uh, the mount, uh, I still need to... Uh, to, to do all the exact measurements and uh, figure out you know how long out here it needs to be because the engine is uh, a little lighter than the like homing that it was designed for so uh, and that's another thing you'll profit from is uh, uh, if you go through uh, uh, wing, uh, wings and wheels they'll they'll have the right mount for you if you get a UL 590 is uh, so and I imagine that applies to the turbo as well I don't think it's a whole lot heavier so uh, I think that's it uh, the uh, prop of course uh, I'm doing separately I'll probably take care of that tomorrow uh, and uh, instead of just getting everything sourced from bead uh, I'm just getting everything sourced from uh, wings and wheels uh, and they're very easy to to uh, to deal with and uh, another uh, thanks to uh, to Dick Gosson for for helping me uh, with everything because this is kind of my first go around with uh, uh, with building a plane and of course uh, I'm not an engine guy so uh, he helped me with a lot of that so uh, uh, I think that's it for tonight uh, uh, it's just a matter of getting finally getting that secured and then I can go on to much more uh, uh, fun stuff than just securing stuff that I already had so uh, Hopefully uh, tomorrow or the next day I can come out here and get uh, the rest of that done. Okay, today is Saturday, August 19th. And I'm just finishing up for the night. So uh, this is all back on. This is all put back together. Uh, it's all screwed back in. Uh, and it, it's just tedious getting the rest of these. So I'm going to finish the rest tomorrow. But uh, the big part... Uh, of getting all these uh, aligned which just takes a long time you have to measure and measure and measure and measure because it has to be like exact right on or or it's not gonna the the screw's not gonna you know the the hole's not gonna match where the uh the little nut is on the on the gang channel in the back so uh, you just have to keep measuring and measuring until you get it right so uh that took uh, a fair bit of time so like like the other side uh this uh brace is on as well uh so uh it's just a matter of uh screwing the rest of these in there's literally nothing left to do it's just tedious you know probably ha another half an hour worth of uh, screwing and i want to go home and call it a night so so uh, uh that's about it so uh it's uh uh Tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, uh, I'm going to come out and finish this and then start looking at the seats. Okay, today is Sunday, August 20th, 2023. So, this is finally done. Eventually, I got there <laughs> and, and got it all uh, dialed in and uh, everything is screwed in now. So... Uh, that job is done so uh, the uh, I started uh, cleaning up uh, and the war on the western front continues uh, I still got to clean up a crap ton of stuff there uh, I had a table over there underneath the uh, uh, the stabilator while I was working on it and uh, stabilator has been done for a while now other than uh, you know securing the, uh, uh, the very tips there they're just kind of stuck on there they're just they're, they're not glued or anything they're just stuck on so uh, uh i got that table cleaned up and some of that big round table at the end cleaned up and it just you know <laughs> i just had crap everywhere so uh, i had to clean up a lot of stuff and I, I wanted to get this smaller table cleaned up so i could start working on uh positioning the seats so this is the uh, i don't know if i showed it in that previous video with the uh uh, with the seats uh, but uh, this uh, is the hardware that came with it 
uh, and you know I may end up doing some welding to get this, to get this to work. At the very least, I'm going to have to build a, a structure underneath the front end of this. But you can see that uh, you know these these are going to fit, and I've done absolutely no measurements whatsoever. It's just laying here because uh, uh, it's. Uh, brutally hot outside and I just don't want to <laughs> I don't want to work in here anymore so uh, and it's getting late so I, I'm just gonna take a break from doing that and and get these get this figured out uh, I would also like to see how far forward uh, the seat needs to be uh, in order for uh, my uh, 5 foot 11 legs to reach those pedals um, when I had the seats, I don't know, they were sitting around here. It's just because that's the only place they would balance without anything securing them. And they were they were sitting way back here, and uh, I was just like tippy toes. Uh, I, I would never be able to apply the brakes. I could I could hit the rudder pedals, but I'd never be able to apply the brakes. My legs just aren't long enough. So uh, I, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Uh, worst case scenario. Uh, I take these off and, and do some uh, creative uh, bending. Uh, so yeah, once I uh, once I get all this figured out and a platform designed for the front of these slides, uh, I'm going to get back to the doing the uh, the wings. Yeah, it's good to get uh, this all done, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to doing something a little more fun. Uh, getting those uh, seats installed of course as soon as I get them positioned and everything I'll have to take them right back out because okay, today is Friday September 1st so uh, just finished uh, cutting out these passenger side mounts and using a little bit of uh, quick set uh, epoxy to kind of fill in the woodworking uh, scratches and stuff and knots and whatnot so. okay uh, the Saturday, September 2nd. Uh, can't remember if I made a video before or not. If not, uh, so about to call it a uh, night. <clears throat> so I got the uh, uh, the other uh, braces, ones on the corner of the table there. The other ones still hanging on the on the uh, rack there uh, after painting it uh, earlier today. So uh, this is the pilot side. So. Uh, before I had the uh, seat screwed in there kind of just to uh, get it you know roughly where I wanted it well not roughly exactly where I wanted it to be uh, uh, and then I got uh, then I took the the screws out and uh, these are uh, five inch bolts going straight through the uh, uh, the bottom all the way through that so those will mount uh, where the the screws were on here uh, on the uh, here on the um, on the slide and, and respectively uh, on the other side as well so uh, uh, these four bolts that go th all the way through uh, vertically are done so what I also want to do is run uh, a three inch bolt through here uh, to secure it to here because you know this is a little on the flimsy side uh, whereas this is uh, unbelievably strong uh, so this will hold the, the seat right onto the frame uh, and uh, the the same goes for this one I will be putting a uh, uh, a piece in here and then a five inch bolt through that way uh, for the front so uh, each uh, each mount will be held vertically even though that feels stiff you know if if you were ever to have an accident it would just rip off so uh, uh, these here will uh, will be secured straight to this uh, and this uh, is uh, really really strong so I think that's it for today okay today is Sunday September 3rd 2023 so uh, this is completely done uh, I've got a uh, bolt running uh, horizontally here uh, into the uh, uh, pan for the uh, the landing gear as well as bolts going through here now these are uh, uh, pan head bolts uh, but I think what I'm gonna do instead 
uh, use a uh, hex bolt to hold those on because getting under there with anything is nearly impossible uh, and getting a grip on a hex bolt is infinitely easier than, <laughs> well uh, anything is easier than a panhead bolt because there's nothing to grip uh, so I'm gonna put hex bolts in there and these are too long by about half an inch so I'm gonna get four and a half inch hex bolts uh, to replace those the uh, this design and this side is now done uh, on the uh, back end uh, there's only about you know half an inch uh, between the uh, bolt and the uh, uh, the landing gear pan uh, that's it for now uh, I'm gonna do the other side before I get around to getting the, the proper bolts and uh, and doing that properly although it doesn't really matter because the whole point was just to make sure that these uh, 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 could be mounted properly and everything and get the design worked out so uh, uh, there, there's no rush to get the bolts I know everything uh, fits uh, and uh, the, the seat mounts in there nicely this is just basically gonna sit where it was uh, and I'll leave the mounts and everything in there and once I take the seat out, you'll be able to see exactly what I did. So, uh, onward and upward. Okay, today is Monday, September 4th. Uh, it's Labor Day, 2023. So, uh, just finishing up the uh, passenger side uh, seat mounts. Uh, this is going fairly smoothly. Uh, the only thing that's really left to do is... Uh, the uh, mounting uh, uh, holes and uh, bolts for the uh, the front. Uh, I've got the, the, the back here done. Uh, I guess the only uh, odd thing that I had to do was uh, you uh, can't really get f uh, four and three quarter <laughs> uh, bolts, which is about the length. Well, it's exactly the length that is needed to uh, both have enough uh, purchase on the bolt as well as uh, you know here uh, it's got to clear the, uh, the slide so uh, uh, I did have to take an angle grinder and cut uh, and a uh, quarter of an inch uh, off of these and then uh, uh, just very very slight amount of grinding just to to get it back to where the thread should be and then uh, a couple of them I just had to you know uh, Tighten a nut on them to uh, to re uh, to rethread them on the very uh, end where I where I cut them, but uh, it wasn't really that difficult at all. So uh, uh, I've got right size bolts for these four corners. Uh, you can see uh, I don't know if I explained it in the other video, but uh, I've got bolts going through the back here now, uh, as well as uh, longer bolts uh, going through the front here. Uh, securing it to the other side of this so these are not going anywhere uh, and if you may have seen uh, reports and I can't remember where the plane was but uh, a plane just uh, unexplicably pulled way up to uh, too hard uh, and it was an experienced pilot so uh, they're guessing what happened was the uh, uh, the sleep the the uh, you know the seat anchors let go and he just ended up pulling the yoke all the way back and so I don't want that to happen with these and also uh, this the seat before just to get them kind of fitted I just had them uh, screwed in so uh, the place where the the screws were on that on that side I never screwed them in on this side but on that side so I already had screw holes uh, for this one I have to uh, to kind of match match it to the seat so I, that's why this seat is in here so i had the uh the other seat on here uh to get the exact positioning for the uh, the bolts uh and i haven't done the front yet so uh as soon as uh, i get back either later today or probably not to, uh, until tomorrow i'll do those final uh two holes and get those bolts in uh secure the seat down make sure everything's uh fine and then uh take the seats out uh and just leave the the mounts there uh, so the next uh, and there's a lot of crap in here from, <laughs> from working but uh, the the uh, uh, the next job is to uh, uh, 
uh, to take this uh, these sticks off uh, and I'm going to cut them around here ish and then uh, uh, figure out some way of bending them forward uh, and then reattaching them so that way I can still use these because the curve matches the seats nicely like if you uh, if you do that like the curve especially with the seats uh, further up uh, uh, it actually matches quite nicely but it's just uh, they're too far back because I can't get the full range of motion because the seat, uh, you know, for my height is, is sitting about, you know, here-ish. So uh, that, that curve matches the seat nicely, but it's just too far back. So uh, just, you know, taking that and bending it slightly is going to do the job. But that's probably a full day job because I got to take them uh, uh, completely apart, find uh, the right angle, uh, bend the, uh, uh, the metal rod in them. Uh, inside them and then uh, and then reattach it uh, so and I'm also gonna have to wait for the uh, metal rod from uh, from aircraft spruce so, uh, yeah stay tuned for that uh, that's probably the uh, uh, in the next video otherwise this will go on forever so hopefully I'll be back tomorrow okay today is September 5th 2023 and I'll try to make this quick because without the fan on it gets unbelievably hot in here uh, What well, already is really hot in here but, uh, Turning the fan on makes it livable. Uh, so on uh, uh, on those two bolts there uh, you can see they're secured with a uh, a, uh, a Lock nut on each side and I think what I'm gonna do in the future is put another brace in there and run the bolt through that uh, so there's no chance of those uh, lock. I mean, those lock nuts uh, probably won't ever come out. But uh, if they uh, if they did, that uh, that would significantly weaken the structure. So I think I'll probably uh, put a another small uh, uh, brace in there to run the bolt through, so everything is kind of connected to each other, and I don't have to have those lock nuts on each side. But uh, for now. Uh, it's holding the seats and that's all I really wanted to do uh, to make those four extra braces is nothing so uh, I can do those later As, uh, you can see how they're uh, uh, they both sit now and the only drawback to the way I have them mounted is uh, like this part of the seat won't go past this so uh, in the few I don't think I'm ever gonna care about that because uh, these seats, like right now, they're mounted here, but uh, realistically, they're they're about there. Uh, so that gives you more than enough uh, recline. Uh, you know, unless you wanted to use the seats for a bed, uh, that that's more than enough. And uh, you know, if really necessary, I suppose you could reinforce this. And, you know cut it out and reinforce it but I'm not gonna do that so the uh, the next job is to uh, uh, modify these uh, sticks so I'm gonna use the uh, the original sticks that came with the the kit uh, because everything is pretty much the way I want it especially uh, like if I put the seat about there ish uh, it's probably a little bit further back than that it's probably about uh, here for me of course, this is the, the passenger side, but uh, that's about where uh, I, I need it to be for, for my height. So uh, you can see how nicely that folds into the seat. Uh, so uh, I want to keep these sticks, but they need to be forward uh, a little ways, uh, probably about 10, maybe 15 degrees. Uh, maybe even less than that. I just don't know. Uh, I haven't even tried to measure it yet. So normally it's sitting like this. So it's gonna sit about like that. Of course, this is all the way forward right now. Uh, you know that that is neutral. So neutral. You know it'll be it'll be sitting right about where it is now. <clears throat> so uh, that will fold nicely. So the way I'm gonna design it is uh, uh, that uh, the stick will uh, uh, will reach that point uh, at uh, maximum deflection. So uh, right now, uh, the, the seat is in the way of it. So if I move that out of the way and then go full deflection, that's where full deflection is with the seat all the way back. 
So uh, right now it's uh, impossible unless you're seven feet tall. So uh, that is the, the state of things. I don't have the material to do that yet. So I think I'm going to call it a day. It is really hot outside. And without the fan on, I had to turn the fan off to make the video because you can't hear anything. But uh, uh, it's really, really hot outside, and I don't have the material to do this, so I think I'm going to call it a day. Okay, today is Friday, September 8th, 2023. So I just have a, uh, uh, a small length of uh, uh, electrical conduit. Uh, uh, it's a lot cheaper than getting... Uh, <laughs> Uh, steel tube or, or molly uh, molly tube so uh, I'm experimenting with this first uh, and I'm kind of glad I did because uh, I had to uh, make several iterations before I, I kind of got it perfect so uh, this is just oversized uh, fitting over top so if you put a protractor up against there uh, I can't do it with <laughs> with one hand but uh, it's uh, it's right at uh, 20 degrees so uh, so this, this is about where I'm going to sit, and, and I got in there and tested it. So that's about where the seat will be, and uh, it just touches the seat. Uh, and if I want to, uh, and I probably will want to move it forward just a little bit, uh, it just pushes a little bit into the cushion. So that's, uh, I think that's perfect. Uh, and uh, it's just slightly taller, which is actually better. It will depend on how far up the uh, uh, the stick goes. Uh, hopefully, it's just like here. Uh, although I'm planning on building a, uh, a custom uh, control on top of there, so uh, it's hard to say exactly uh, how tall that's going to be. But the you know the handle will be roughly you know like this. So uh, I think that's perfect. So that's uh, uh, full deflection, full deflection. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and order the uh, Molly tube uh, with the uh, same outside diameter as this, which appears to be 15 sixteenths, uh, and uh, uh, go from there. Uh, just once it gets here, I'll bend it, uh, cut it to the same dimensions, uh, and uh, uh, like this conduit uh, you can't get it in in exact sizes so I just opened it up so you can uh, uh, you can see where the stick uh, is going to be uh, um, kind of inside there and uh, how much added height uh, it's getting and, and I can even uh, re reduce that a little bit to get this bend closer to uh, to matching the front of the seat so and I probably will do that but I really like the uh, the length of this the way it is it may have to be shortened up just slightly uh, but you, you can see that it's gonna it's gonna work and uh, it matches so much better now so that is the state of things right now thanks for watching